Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, in the last upload, you guys would have seen the uh, the second RX-7 that I bought, and that sort of was, I guess, uh, because it had some really good parts on it. So, what I'm yet to do, because I haven't really had a chance or had the space and it's been dark, is to actually go through that car and see exactly what parts I have outside of the ones that I already know about and make my mind up as to what I'm actually going to do with it, whether I build the uh, the blue one that you guys have already seen or if I build this one instead or if I uh, am sort of feeling pretty brave, do both of them. So, just done some shopping, cruising back to our place now and going to have a bit of a tinker, get, get them both out of the shed and see what's going on. Right, see you back at my place. Right, guys, so got a bit of sunlight left let's uh, get this thing unwrapped jeez I'm gonna need two hands all right so here's the seven with a bit of light um, I think we're gonna untape these doors Untape all this, and I reckon I'm gonna open it up and take out everything and see exactly what I've got. Right, I'm gonna fast forward this tape bit to where I've got it good, ready to take stuff out. So, there's so much stuff in here. We've got rubbers, stuff like steering, steering surround, cluster surrounds, mirrors, all the plastics which being black, they're really hard to find here. Um, so that's a massive plus. Oh gosh, okay. Time to pull this thing out. The further I get into this, I realize just how much stuff I've actually got in this car. This is in good nick. It's not warped. It's got all these got guard liners, like that's brand new. Door cards, all these, uh, these trims, which are hard to find on their own. They're all, all black and in good nick. Some of them were red and they've been painted with vinyl dye, but that's easily um, easily gone over again. But the dash is pretty good. It's a little bit, I can't tell if it's warped or if it's just not bolted down. Hood lining's black. Awesome. Usually they're busted. Even these plastics, they're so hard to find. Black and in good condition. I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff in the back there. There's no point pulling it out. This gives me a good enough look at, I guess, the car and what's ahead of me. Uh, I might pop this bonnet up, actually. Does the bonnet stay there? Yeah. So many little things on this car. Like, my bonnet stay is broken, a little plastic clip. Things like that will come in handy. There's a big front mount there, I think. Yep. Radiator with the thermo. And obviously, pretty much the main reason I bought this thing. Coilovers. So the lighting was really bad the other night, but if we can get under here. I'll turn my flash on. So as you can see, it's got adjustable coilovers. And the big problem with coilovers for RX-7s is even if you buy sleeves or whatever, you've got to cut them on your, uh, on your old strut so you can keep your stub axles. But this thing's already done. It's a massive convenience, I guess, to have it already sorted. It's got new bushings in there. Big sway bra across the front. Sway bra. There's the front mount. Cool. One step closer to at least one of the cars being built. This thing looks straight. The, the body of it is. That door's all right from what I can see couple of dents in it around the handle. This door's got dents. And that guard's wrong anyway, it's a series one guard. But then I've got this thing in the shed. And it is super straight. The guards, obviously on the rear, are cut. 
but everything else is near perfect. The best bet might be to pull the doors off of this. They can go onto that. Use the bonnet, things like that to get that as straight and as easy as possible to, to get built. And then from there, turn the blue one into a bit of a weapon or sell it. Hmm. I have no idea what to do right now. So guys, I guess the uh, situation I find myself in is whether I build this car, the blue one, or if I do both. What I'm thinking is because this car has the, because this car has the good rear guards that aren't cut, if I'm gonna build one that's gonna be the tidier version, it should be this one, the more sensible option. And then I can always do the, the flares and everything on that one, which I was gonna do anyway, but that can be the more wild, crazy car that I sort of have always wanted. Whereas this can be the chuck the kids in the back or whatever, or kid and my mates or whatever and go for a drive. I've got a bit of thinking to do, I think. I'm meant to be moving house in about a month and a bit too, so it depends whether I can get a shed big enough. But I think at the very least, I've got all these parts, which can definitely make up a really tidy interior in one of the cars. And anything that I'm missing, I think this one's gonna have anyway, so. What do you guys reckon I should do? Leave a comment. Anyway, I guess uh, there'll be another video up tomorrow or the next day with maybe some thoughts and a bit of progress. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and yeah, leave a comment what you guys reckon. Any feedback, I think, would be a bit of a guiding light in the situation. All right, see you.